What is going on, Bobbylicious boys and girls? Welcome back to Bobbylicious Gaming, and welcome back to Cooking Simulator. Last time, when we played, we got to four stars. That is awesome. That is one more star closer to five stars than we were previously. We beat that food critic. We gave him some borscht. It was the best he'd ever tasted. The best borscht, BB. And, uh... But... I kind of burned my lip. I ate some chili earlier and it was really hot. Um, but yeah, but here we are. We're back. You're already looking at this and you're like, what the heck's going on? Get, get out of here, music. Um, you're like, what the heck's going on? I have one minute and 30 seconds. I did some prep, so I'm going to run through this really quick. Boom. We got a new star upgrade. I bought a new new outlook for the kitchen. Look at how bright it is. Look at how beautiful. Look at these interwoven tiles. The green, olive green, blacks, blacks backsplash. The, the, the uh, that thing. And the ceiling, we don't really care about the ceiling. Um, so yeah, so, uh, I also, as promised, did some upgrades to some recipes with the points that we had got. We'd already done baked trout, which we still haven't cooked yet. We've now upgraded our salmon and boiled potatoes. It now has grilled tomatoes in there. So I'm sure that's gonna, that's gonna be a thing. I'm excited. Um, what else did we upgrade? We had already upgraded that. We had already up upgraded this. We had not upgraded our pork chop, and now it's lemon baked potatoes, and there's a little bit of green on there. I always commented that it was so boring looking, and, and now it's got some green, and I, it just makes me feel happy and whole. And we also upgraded borscht. What better recipe to upgrade us than the one that pushed us into four stars? So those are the upgrades. Um, in terms of why I only have a minute and 30 seconds left and now a minute left in the prep phase It's because our dish of the day is the grilled t-bone steak And so what I've gone ahead and done is I have prepared, pre prepared Four steaks. Oh, there's still an old steak over here. How are you doing? Um, and they are ready to roll and then I've also prepared taken the time to prepare the uh, potatoes and onions so we're ready. We're ready for whatever the day, day, the day might bring, might. Um, so with that being said, I still had 20 seconds left. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at these intros. Let's roll into it. Let's see what's good. Our first day as a four-star chef. Ay! You'll be serving a gourmet. Okay. I've never made the G the beef chuck either. Okay. Okay. Wow. I was on cloud nine going into this, and now... I'm on cloud zero. No, I'm kidding. It's totally good. We're totally... That was only four. Wow, already off to a great start. There's still only four on there, right? Yep. I don't know where that other gram of pepper went, but... You know what? I only did four because we're four stars, and that's, uh, that's pretty okay. Uh, up here, this is now what I'm calling the land of liquids. We've, uh, included barbecue sauce on there, so that's pretty alright, right? I should not have done that. Alright. Let's get some water for asparagus, asparagus, asparagus. Let's get some water for asparagus. Do, 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 do. And that should be good until the asparagus is done. Uh, let's get to work on this brill brilled beef chuck. Buff chuck. Take beef, take, take the beef chuck. Oh, it was one kilogram, and it, I need 200 kilograms. 200 grams. Guys, look, I bought more knives. I just, I, they're color coordinated, and, you know, I just wanted to be a cool boy. I was like, you know what, I'm feeling saucy. I, I only had one knife last time, and I, that's not a, none of that's a good cut. Let's see, 245, too big. 165, too small. 129, way too small. 185, probably passable. 276, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna roll with 185. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't notice that he's getting a little less than everybody else. Why are you cooking at a snail's pace? Cook, baby, cook! What is happening with that plate? I... It's getting, it's getting... Glitchy. It's because it's cooking on the side of the pan. I just... I just want one day. I want one good day. I don't think there's ever been just one... Go away. I don't think there's ever just been one good day on this game. We've had passable days. We've had lucky days. We've had days where I... 
Let me do something. <laughs> uh, where I've been like, you know, I probably could have done better there. Okay, I don't want to send this just yet, because then they're going to be like, oh, you're done? New order. So let's take a little bit of time and work on our bad boy, the, the, the buff chuck. Okay, so we need sweet bell pepper, marjoram, cilantro. Oh my gosh, lots of, uh, and they cut it into halves. Ah, complex. This is a, this is a well-seasoned bit of beef, but there's no salt on it. That is surprising. And then we're going to cut this bad boy in half. All right. Eh. And then I grill it for three minutes. Ooh, okay. Transfer to place your pot and then add to a baking tray 300 grams of potatoes. No cutting, no garnishing, no no salt. This is an easy dish. This is a really easy dish. I mean, aside from me hacking up that... Uh, unnecessarily hacking up that... Beef chuck. All right, I guess we just leave it then. It didn't say... All right. Uh, and then let's get these patats going all right well that's cooking and then we got to garnish it with rosemary so you know what i think we're safe to say while this is still hot send it out send out the asparagus and the salmon hey, hey all right five stars little uh little niche right there is that because the salmon wasn't cooked all the way it's because the salmon wasn't cooked all the way well at least i know at least i know what i'm doing that's my that's my shtick is i just don't cook salmon well Oh no, it's the beef stroganoff over Fusili. Also never made this. Great. All right. Well, we're rolling with it. Got to fill a pot of water. I didn't even look. I, I saw, all I saw was fill a pot with water and I was like, yes, Masta. Uh, 1,000 milliliters, five grams, and then Fusili pasta. I think that's the twisty pasta. That's cool. There it is. Yeah, and it is the twisties. Hey, wow, that's a... Interesting looking box. Well, for 60 seconds. Okay. How, how much do they just pour? You're not telling me. How much is in there? 70. So each one little thing is one. So I gotta do nine more. I guess. Pasta, 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 pasta. Oops, it's 170. Well. Why can't I grab my little pasta? Okay, good. I was like, no. You are one pasta too many. Go. Okay. Uh, boil for 60 seconds. On it. On it like a bonnet. Cut beef chuck into 100. Where did all my beef chuck go? I threw it all away! <gasps> Onion into 15 gram pieces. I could probably use that. I'm going to use the automatic cutter. Because I'm lazy. One thirty-four, good enough. The rest of Buff Chuck can also wait in the shadows. Okay, so we cut this into fifty gram slices. So cut it into thirds. Oh gosh. Okay, Buff Chuck's looking buff, dude. You're looking swole, bruh. You're looking swole, bruh. Okay, and then I think it said rosemary. Why am I so fast? The scroll does not scroll very well. 10 grams of rosemary. Da, 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 da. Right now, parsley. Time, rosemary. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Let's see how we did on our first time with Buff Chuck. How did the gourmet like it? He loved it! Yes! Did I freeze the game? Oh no. I think I froze the game. Okay, never mind. Satisfied compliments, my compliments to the chef. Oh no, it's the new And he's a he's a gourmet too! Ow. I don't even set the timer on the pasta! Ah, oh, there's a broken plate! When? From when? Oh, curse me. Okay, beef chuck. Onion. I'm throwing in the dicer, dude. I'm throwing in the dicer. I am done with this. Oh, curse you, T-bone steak. I was so prepped for you. Yep, good enough. Okay, what am I doing with this? Uh, button mushrooms. Button mushrooms? Into eight gram pieces. 
Oh, nice cutting job, me. Uh, except for that last one. But it wasn't a full 150, so where's my mushrooms? Where's my mushroom? 50 grams. So I need half a mushroom, because it said 25 grams into about 8 gram slices. So half a mush, right? Cute. Cute as a button. Okay. Gosh. That's not... That's, I mean, I guess. Whatever. Okay, and add to a pan the 20 milliliters of olive oil and the buff chuck. Okay. Come on now. Okay. And the beef chuck. Good. And we're gonna fry for 100 seconds. Okay. Good. Also, they said to put the pasta in a casserole dish, so we gotta do that. Right? Our overcooked pasta. Cute. That's not a lot of pasta, but, you know. Whatever. Transfer the beef chuck onto a plate and then throw butter white. Ah, this is complex! Well, I better get started on this, because this is a fur gourmet. Same deal. Oh no, there's more! There's rosemary and thyme on my on my salmon! Ah! Okay, what is it the normal standard put in a pan? Avocado oil? Ow. Oh. Just another just an a welcome avocado oil to the to the um the liquid land of liquids. Eleven, good. Go over there, avocado oil. You know what, these pans are really getting on my nerves. They're getting on my noise. Okay, and that's gonna be for... 60 seconds, I'm guessing. Yep, okay, good. Okay. Transfer onto plates, they said. Stop. I've got too many plates floating around. The beef truck isn't even cooked! I put it like back together. That was neat. Okay, and then add to the pan 150 milliliters of chicken broth. Oh, brother. This one. Please be at least 150 milliliters. I didn't see how much there was. Okay, good. Wow. Go me. Okay, 150 milliliters, three black, black pepper. Wait, wasn't there white pepper? Oh, I didn't. We're rolling with it. I'm just throwing everything. I'm just throwing everything into the pot. What was this? The salmon? What else was there? White pepper, black pepper, mushroom, onion, and beef chuck, and clarified butter. It's all going in. It's all going in. The mushrooms will not be fried. They're gonna be like, did you? Did you skip a step? I'm gonna be like, no. Salmon's done. Got to cut potato into halves. What? I just... I'm four stars. I'm four stars, baby. What can I say? Okay, I hear you. I hear you. You're ready to roll. Shut up. Shut up. And now, we take... I don't want just a single piece of pasta. I know we're in overtime, but it's okay. I did double check. I was correct last time that... I think I missed a couple pieces. Nope, we're good. All right, this is going out. Enjoy your beef stroganoff. You're not gonna, but please, have an open mind. Four stars! Hey, four stars! Okay. They're like, feels like you skipped a step. Too much salt on the pasta. I put five in that kind of technique with mistakes. Yeah, I didn't do mushrooms right. All right, well, we get it. Whatever. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Um, all right, where were we? Uh, uh, I was cutting potatoes. Okay, good. Watch this. Watch this skill I've acquired. 
playing on my own time. Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Cool. Watch this. Watch this, everybody. <laughs> Five gram pieces. Oh, <laughs> I've just been the coolest boy you've ever seen. Go out, wait. <laughs> oh, I love this kitchen so much. Thirty seconds on that. Transfer onto a plate. Potato. Drizzle in mixture, which is the onion and the <gasps> tomatoes. Oh boy. Screw it, I'm doing a large plate. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get, don't try to run away. Okay, I have to drizzle it in the mixture, which, you know, is always my favorite thing to do in this game. Why is my plate so unnecessarily large? You know what, man? You know what? I have a potato. Put a potato in your mouth and shut it. Make like a duck and quack. There we go. Yep, got a little schmutz on the counter, but that's okay. Did it all spill on the counter? I hope not, because there should be some of it. Tomatoes, and then garnish with dill. And we're good. And then we're good to go. Ta-da! Oh, that salmon's actually looking pretty okay! Woo! -hoo -hoo. And we got a couple tomatoes. Tomatoes. And then, uh, what do we need? We need some dill? Five grams? I'm on it! You know what? Pretty unstressful. One, two, three, four, five. Right in the center. What was that for? The tomatoes. <laughs> Enjoy your... whatever. Gourmet! What do you th What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What does that mean? Salmon steak, it just says salmon steak. What does that mean? What did I do wrong with it? It's just like, I don't know. Salmon steak. What was wrong with it? That doesn't... You're making us proud. I would make us prouder. I'm sorry. I need to, I need to mentally decompose. That's not the right word, but I'm... He brought the plate to the guy's table and he's like, now is everything to your liking today, sir? And the gourmet was like, no. Well, what's wrong with it? Salmon steak. What, what was wrong? Was it overcooked? Was it undercooked? Was it not seasoned properly? Eh, salmon steak. <laughs> but that's what you ordered! Who? When is somebody gonna order the T-bone steak? I made four of them. Do, 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 do. Ten, nine. It says ten, but there's actually nine. So just a little drip. And now there's twelve. So I don't. What is that one? That's oh, it's bay leaf. I love bay leaf. Bay leaf's great. Okay. It's gotta be right in the center. I don't know why, but that's how I want it to be. Now, remember how we were using big red plastic bowl last time? Yeah, well, I realized that that's for suckers. Um, and so I'm gonna use a deep bowl like we used for the apple or for the, the soups. Boom, you see, it's a little bowl. And then I just put a little bit of lemon juice. Specifically, um, eight grams. Okay, well, that one got a little bit extra. Huh? There we go. That's enough. That's enough for me. And then we'll cook the apples when the duck breast is done. In the meantime, it's time for shwimpy. And then I gotta chop up a lamb. And fried shrimp is done. Wow, you know what? I had a couple stressful moments, but uh, all in all, for my first day as a four-star chef, not too bad. Gourmets are starting to come out and one of them just did not like my salmon, so, you know, whatever. Why did I buy another one? I, I, I just could have reused this one. They would have never known. Ah, crap. I don't remember which is for which. 
Who am I? Oh, this is a mistake. I'm gonna pour some shrimp, shrimp juice on the. No, nope. all good to go. You just go on there for now. Okay, turn off. Now, clarified butter, ten and apple for forty-five seconds. Oops. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, cool. What a cool boy am I? Let's take all the apple. One, two, three. Good, 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 good. Which ones? Okay, this. Just, you know what? Just, just go in the trash. I don't need any more distraction. No, Schwimpy. Okay. No, it's not. Mm, okay, I am all out of sorts. Duck breast, out. And then we'll get the parsley on our fried shrimp and we'll send those out. Boom, five stars, baby. Duck breast and applesauce. It's not applesauce, it's just apples. Guest complaints, heating mistakes. No. I was like, no, it's frozen again. Derper, pumpkin soup. Ah! I haven't made pumpkin soup in a while. I forget how to do that. What was I doing? This. Okay, don't take the knife. Don't. <laughs> our, uh, our fried shrimp today comes with a complimentary chef's knife. Am I supposed to eat with it? Or... No, no. You, I mean, well, you can do whatever you want with it. Fried shrimp. Number one. Oh, where's my. Oh, there you are. Floor knife. How, how could I forget you? And that's a one and a two and a three and a four. That that last slice is huge. 1.4. That's almost perfect. Yes. That's great. That's ideal. <laughs> Good. Shut up out there. Okay, so one tomato, two Mott's blobs. And oh, this was a good slice too. That was also a good slice. This was not a good slice. Or was this? Two end pieces go in the trash. Okay, Mott's blobs, Mott's blobs. Boom, boom. And it's a mater. Oops. It's okay. The bruises give it flavor. Okay. It's soup time. No, no. Just, my guy's just like, oh, yeah, go. Cool. And the pumpkin didn't cook, but that's never stopped us before, ladies and germs. Uh, where's my sour cream? There's no, there's no sour cream in Liquid Land. Oh, you jerks! 150 milliliters. Up, up, up. Oh, exactly, magic touch, baby. Four and a half stars. What was wrong with it, pray tell? I mean, I'm happy that I got a five stars overall, but... I guess the world may never know. I swear, if he says salmon steak... It's too cold! What? Whatever. This is good soup, but it's a little too cold. I cooked it for as long as it was supposed to be cooked. Jerk. Nine. You lay off the oil. It's it's okay. You can you can pull back on the oil, and then three of basil. Yes, chicken leg piece. Um, yes, beautiful. What a day. What a way to close out the day with a five star chicken leg piece, mozzarella and tomato. What? What do you have to say for yourself? Are you too shy? Is that what it is? They're too shy to come in and tell me they're like, listen, this was terrible, but bad kind of thing. Bad kind of, That's enough for you to be like, this is four stars. These are so poorly chopped. The flavor is amazing. It's, it's perfect even. I will describe it as perfect flavor. But you know what? It's so poorly chopped that I'm only gonna be able to give this four stars. That ruined the end of my good day. Four stars, just like me. Oh. <laughs>
What a magnificent adventure. Guys, I hope you enjoyed our first day being four star chefs. We were cooking. We're like already halfway there to being five stars. So I'm thinking one more really good day. I'm going to, we got a lot of cooking points today. I'm going to upgrade more recipes because upgraded recipes give us more fame points for cooking them well. So if every one of my recipes is upgraded, then we're, we're in. So thank you guys for checking in as always. I really appreciate you. I hope you've enjoyed. Come on back next time. We'll continue being four star chefs and having wonderful, magnificent mayhem. And I hope that today that you, ha uh, how do I say it? I hope, I hope, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Brain fart. Bye.